back in issue number one, we started to develop our basic comics terminology by color coding a copy of Hugo Hercules to the Rescue once more, written and drawn by Wilhelm Kerr. After that, you should have spent a little of your time learning about frameworks of analysis appropriate to both the academic field of comic studies and the academic field of masculinity studies by reading excerpts from three pieces of scholarship. Uh, Superhero, The Secret Origin of a Genre by Peter Coogan. On the Origins of Superheroes from the Big Bang to Action Comics Number 1 by Chris Gaveler. And The Damsel in Distress, Rescuing Women from American Mythology by Michael Solis. For your mini essay, you need to select an interpretive claim about Kerner's strip Hugo Hercules from one of those three scholars that is relevant to our class on men and masculinities. That interpretive claim will be the framework of analysis you will work with in your mini essay. For this video, which I'll refer to as issue number two, I'll use one of Michael Solis's interpretive claims in The Damsel in Distress as my example. And I'll take you through the steps I would follow to write a description of a panel in a comic that provides evidence to support the reason for my position on his interpretive claim. Uh, the myth of the damsel in distress has been on my mind since I read Bradley Hathaway's spoken word poem, Manly Man, and rereading the selection of Kerner's Hugo Hercules comic strips, including the materials for module one, I've noticed multiple retellings of this sort of story in which a strong man must save a weak woman. In particular, I was struck by some of the details in the third panel of the strip Hugo Hercules to the Rescue Once More, which we analyzed back in issue number one. With all that in mind, this is the interpretive claim from Solis's scholarship that I'll use for my example. Perhaps the most cliche, but also most popular and resonating, is the story of a powerful man rescuing a vulnerable and beautiful woman in distress, otherwise translated as a prize for bravery, or in some epic poems, the spoils of war. In Solis's book, this sentence can be found on page three. For the sake of this example, say that I decide my position on this claim is that I agree with it, and say that the reason I agree with it is I see evidence in at least one panel in Kerner's strip that the character of Hugo Hercules, our powerful man, accepts the affection of a beautiful woman as a prize. To help you understand how to write a description of a panel in a comic that provides evidence to support my reason, I will now take you through the steps I would follow. For my example, I am pulling out my copy of Hugo Hercules to the rescue once more, well, once more. Um, from this particular comic strip, I want to write a description of the, let's count, one, two, three, third panel. So, I could start out my description with a simple sentence that communicates the topic. Something along the lines of, in the third panel of the comic strip Hugo Hercules to the rescue Once more, we see evidence that the powerful man accepts of a beautiful woman as a prize. 
Now, uh, you would not need to describe every aspect of this panel. That is, you would not need to use every term on our list of basic comics terminology. But I would definitely recommend providing your readers with a short summary of what happens in this panel. Something along the lines of, uh, after Hercules rescues her father from being crushed by a falling safe. The woman embraces him and acts of physical affection that he sees as a reward for his heroism. Uh, although it is important for me to describe how Kerner drew that act of physical affection in this particular panel, I would argue that the strongest evidence that Hugo Hercules sees this as a prize is not in the pictures inside it, but in the words below it. Uh, and of our four categories of words, dialogue, thoughts, narration, and sound effects, I'm going to classify these words as narration. So after my summary of the panel, I'm adding a sentence that describes that specific aspect of it, that specific piece of evidence. Something along the lines of, we see evidence of this in the narration below this panel in which Hercules asks um, am I glad I did it am I with the dolls arms around me <laughs> neck now uh, at the end of that sentence because it contains a quotation i need to add an in-text citation in our Men and Masculinities class, we will use Modern Language Association, or MLA, style in-text citations. And the most traditional form of those calls for me simply to enclose two pieces of information between parentheses, author and page. So here, I'm writing Kerner's last name. And then the page number inside this pair of parentheses. So, Kerner, 72. Uh, notice that I'm using the number of the page of the newspaper in which this comic strip was published, which is a piece of information found in the citation at the bottom of each page in the PDF file I have provided to you and your classmates. Uh, finally, even if your evidence seems perfectly clear to you as the writer, you should provide your readers with an explanation of why you think it supports the particular point that you are attempting to prove. 
Um, so to complete my description of this panel, uh, I'm writing in this narration, the powerful man Hugo Hercules clearly communicates he is happy to accept the affection of a beautiful woman as a prize for bravery. So uh, these are the steps I would follow to write a description and explanation of a panel in a comic that provides evidence to support the reason for my position on an interpretive claim. I encourage you to try to follow these same steps when you create your own description and explanation of the evidence in a panel when you write mini essay one for men and masculinities. And again, as Hugo Hercules would say, just as easy.